What's up guys, it's Grant Johnson back at it with another video and today I'm going to be talking about my cut that I just finished and my future plans as for lifting and content wise. So about the cut, it was five months long. I uh, started at 193 pounds and ended at 183 pounds. So I lost 10 pounds of weight but that wasn't necessarily my goal. My goal was just to lose body fat percentage and get my abs popping and like just be the leanest and most shredded I've ever been. And I'd never cutted before, so, or cutted. <laughs> I'd never cut before, so this was definitely exciting for me, and I was looking forward to do it, and I had fun. I would say, as you can tell from the pictures that I'll put up right now, the progress pictures, the one in the beginning compared to the end, to the end I had my abs are popping much more, I'm definitely more lean and tan, but, <clears throat> It was pretty successful, but not as successful as I think it could have been. I could have been more strict and consistent with it, but that just would have been a lot less fun. Like I said, I enjoyed it. It was fun. But if I really went hard and just was trying to get as lean as I could, like people do before like the bodybuilding competitions where they're up there oiled on stage and just completely shredded, I would have really hated it. Like I would have had to eat so little. And I, if you know me, I enjoy eating, so... I'm excited to be done with the cut and into my next plan, but yeah, I just didn't enjoy going hungry sometimes because I'd never really done that before, but I liked that I could see progress. So overall, I enjoyed it, but I am definitely excited to get back into eating as much as I want, kind of, uh, and just getting out of the cut and into a bulking type of deal. So I will cut again, but not until next summer probably. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is that how I did the cut, like how I was like planning it and went about it is basically just by following the rules that I mentioned in my video about how to lose weight. So that is I followed a caloric deficit. I tried to be in a like 300 to 500 calorie caloric deficit roughly. I really just, I didn't measure anything. Basically, I just knew roughly I'd eat like a thousand calories a meal maybe. And then I knew I shouldn't eat this because I probably had too much calories. And I used my Fitbit to know how many calories I burned. But I just roughly estimated the calories as eaten. So, and I'd go off of like if I looked like I got had gained weight, then I'd be, oh, okay, I got to restrict my calories a little more. So I was just playing it by ear. And I definitely could have been more mathematical about it. But, yeah, that is how I did it, through a caloric deficit. All right, now on to the new plan which is a strength slash bulking plan and it's powerlifting based so I'm gonna be doing a lot of powerlifting movements like I'll squat and bench on the same day so I'm really just focusing on getting as much strength as I can and getting back into like really focusing on squat bench deadlift because I used to do that for sports back when I was in high school but I kinda stopped after this year because I was like, okay, now I don't have to. I can just lift her how I look. But now I want to get back into it. So I'm excited to get into this. I'm definitely ready to get back into bulking season. I really enjoy bulking season because you can eat more and you get stronger. Except you don't look quite as good. But that's, I don't, keep in mind, I'm going to try to bulk. But I'm not trying to get fat. Like, I'm trying to do it kind of slowly. Just get stronger, like. Basically, I'm just going to listen to what my body says to eat, like, at night if I'm hungry and I know, like, I didn't eat a ton today, I'll have a snack for sure. I'll just listen to my body and trust it. Hopefully, my body knows what it's doing. So, um, my goal is to get stronger than I've ever been, get my maxes back up, figure out my maxes. I haven't done that in probably six months. So, re-max, just get strong and put some more size on and then I'll cut down again probably in the summer. But, so this is a different different plan for sure. So my last plan was push-pull legs, and that was six days a week, push-pull legs, push-pull legs, rest, and I'd do abs on that day. But my new plan is five days a week, and the split is kind of different, so I have like squat and bench on one day with some accessory movements, and then I have deadlift with some accessory movements, and then I'll put a rest day right there, and that's when I'm going to do just abs and stretch or run. And then I'll have um, an accessory day and then squat bench day. 
and then an accessory day but with RDLs, like focus on RDLs, and then I'll have Sunday be my rest day and do abs again. So that's what it looks like. So basically I work out every day of the week, but I just, that's how I do it. I don't know, like I don't think I could let myself have a day where I completely rest, which might be unhealthy. I don't know, I don't recommend that. If you want a rest day, take a rest day. But I just like mentally can't let myself do it. So I am gonna have a workout every single day of the week. And so my plan for how I'm gonna gain muscle and get stronger is by following my steps in the recent YouTube video I made about like five steps to gain muscle so basically my main focus is going to be getting up protein and uh, eating a caloric surplus so just a little more calories like 300 500 more than I'm burning in a day but that's gonna be hard for me to gauge because I'm not gonna get so mathematical about it I'm just gonna basically listen to my body eat when my body wants me to eat and see where that takes me and this plan is supposed to last three to four months I believe is what it'll be and then we'll see where I'm at and I guess I'll give you another update video on what I'm gonna do after that cuz that might not that won't be the summer yet but I'm just really excited to get into the strength in bulking season I am glad it's bulking season again because I just give me an excuse to eat what I want even though I shouldn't cheat that much I don't plan on it I'll be more strict with it but it should be fun and we should see some strength rising on my lifts so you might be wondering what does this mean for my content so there's still gonna be content on my TikTok, Instagram and YouTube but there might be a little less on Instagram just because I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about my videos for Instagram so if you have suggestions by all means leave a comment or a DM me on Instagram I might put a poll up asking you guys what I should do like do you guys want me to post videos of exactly what my workouts are or do you want me to share videos of other possible workouts like that I have done before I would recommend um just what do you think about that for Instagram I probably post more pictures videos might be a little different um but TikTok I plan to be more active on there making some more content so make sure you follow me there it's linked down below and in my Instagram bio I think it's Grant underscore Johnson 25 is my at, so follow me there, like, share, copy link, I don't know what that is exactly, but, um, so YouTube, I'm going to try to do one video per week, I've kind of been keeping up with that for the past few videos, but I'm going to try to do one video per week, uh, on every Sunday is my goal for uploading days, so try to hold me accountable for that, <laughs> but I'll be fine, I'll remember to do it, so one video per week is the goal and more active on TikTok, but with all this time will tell I might change my mind things might come up we'll just see what happens so just play it by ear but expect more content on or on TikTok and YouTube and I'll update you guys always so if you want to be the most updated go to my Instagram because I post Instagram stories and post and I talk about things more often there but yeah it should be good so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you like these update videos just let me know it's kind of just me talking but it was necessary I wanted to tell you guys what I'm doing now and what I thought about my last plan I had so I guess that's pretty much all I have make sure you follow me everywhere Instagram TikTok subscribe here hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload and just like comment I appreciate all that I really appreciate you guys that show love it's great and I've been growing, so it's fortunate. I'm thankful. Thank you guys. But that's going to be everything. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.